Okay friends, here's the next step in our mixed media masterpiece. Take a blank piece of paper, write your name, and teacher code on the back. Then turn it over, and you're gonna get some little pieces of paper that have words on them. If you get one that has a picture, just put that to the side, don't use it. Or if you get one that's like half picture, if you really want to, you can cut out the word parts. But we don't wanna use pictures, we just wanna use words. And your job is gonna to be to fill this whole paper with words. When we glue, we go dip, dip, wipe it on the lip, and then dot, dot, not a lot. Just put one dot of glue in each corner and that should be enough to stick down each little square. You're gonna fill up the whole paper with little pieces of magazines and books. Once you've got the paper pretty much all filled up, you're gonna turn it over and rub the back of it just to make sure everything is all stuck. All right, and there's how you create a word cloud. All right, next step of our mixed media masterpiece is complete. So what I'm gonna do next is take this kind of word collage, turn it over, and on the back, I'm gonna draw a really big word cloud. I'm gonna do the word zap. So I'm gonna make a word cloud that's pointy and jagged. But you could do one that's rounded or bubbly, however you want. Now, I'm gonna carefully cut this out. What I'm gonna do is take a piece of colored construction paper and glue it onto it. When I glue, I go dip, dip, wipe it on the lip, and I go dot, dot, not a lot. When I put glue, I'm gonna put glue all the way around the edges. I don't need to put any glue in the middle as long as I have put glue around the edges. Then I'm gonna carefully flip this over glue it down to my construction paper, turn it over, and give it a massage. Then I'm gonna flip it back over and do a bubble cut. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut around, but I'm leaving a little bubble of yellow paper around. Because otherwise, What's the point of gluing it to the colorful paper if I can't see the colorful paper anymore? Now I've got a pretty exciting looking word cloud. If I notice after I cut it that I've got some parts that are sticking up, I can go back and add a little bit of, a little bit more glue. Like I noticed this part's coming up, so I'm gonna add a little bit more glue so that everything is nice and stuck down. Next, I'm gonna get my bubble wrap print from earlier. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna glue it down on top of it. If it's kinda hanging off the edges of my bubble print, that's awesome, or I can turn it this way. I'm gonna have it so it's kind of hanging off the edges because I think that adds a little bit of excitement to it. And then same thing, I'm gonna glue, I go dip, dip, wipe it on the lip. Then I go dot, dot, not a lot. And I'm putting, putting the glue around the edges. I'm gonna go all the way around all the edges. All 
All right, now I'm ready to flip this over. Press it down, turn it over, and give it a massage on the back. It's gonna help everything stick together really well. Then, the very last thing I'm gonna do is take my letters and carefully cut them out. I like to first kind of free the letters from the paper, so I'm gonna cut out my Z and then carefully cut it out. And then glue them down. Again, for glue, it's dip, dip, wipe it on the lip, then dot, dot, not a lot. On your letters, you might not be able to do the edges, you might just have to do the whole letter, but make sure you have enough glue to stick things down. After your letters are arranged, flip it over, give your paper one last massage, check and make sure your name is on it. Don't forget to write your teacher code as well. That's five in the first letter of your teacher's name. And turn it over and voila, there is my mixed media onomatopoeia pop art collage. Now it's your turn. Have fun, amazing artists.